Not only does the iPhone 5 have a more powerful processor, larger screen, and brand new connector, its redesigned case and interior make it easier to disassemble and repair. I'm Bill Detweiler, and we're going inside the iPhone 5 on this episode of Cracking Open. It may have the same general shape as its predecessor, but the iPhone 5 is taller, thinner, and lighter. Apple also repositioned the front camera, moved the headphone jack, and replaced the traditional 30-pin docking connector with the new lightning connector. What hasn't changed are the position of the home button, power button, ring silent switch, volume buttons, speakers, and case screws. And this is where our teardown begins. Using a special pentalobe screwdriver, Remove the two screws along the bottom edge. Then, using a suction cup, lift up on the front panel and display assembly from the bottom. I'm really glad Apple went with this case design. It makes opening the phone and replacing a cracked screen much easier than on the iPhone 4 or 4S. Now, before removing the front panel completely, you'll need to detach the connectors located along the top edge. We now have our first look inside the iPhone 5. The overall hardware layout is the same as on the iPhone 4 and 4S. There's a speaker and docking connector assembly at the bottom, battery along the left side, motherboard along the right, and the cameras at the top. Now, If you're wondering why everything looks backwards in this comparison, remember that on the iPhone 4 and 4S, you access the interior from the back, while on the iPhone 5, you go in through the front. Disassembling the iPhone 5 starts with disconnecting and removing the battery. Next, We'll remove several metal spring contacts that are located around the phone. Now take care not to break them during removal and note each contact's location so you'll be able to put them back in the right place. Now you should also avoid touching them with your hands. This will help keep them clean. After detaching the remaining motherboard connectors and removing a few more screws and standoffs, we can lift out the motherboard. With the motherboard removed, we can also detach the rear camera. Now, unfortunately, the EMI RFI shields that cover the iPhone 5's motherboard are soldered in place. Now, as I want to put this phone back together in working order, I'm going to leave them where they are. Luckily, my friends over at iFixit did remove the shields, giving us a good look at the new A6 sock and LTE modem. Turning our attention back to the case, we find the vibration motor at the top, the speaker, headphone, and lightning connector assembly at the bottom, front panel clips along the sides, and antenna and connector wires running all over. Now most of these components are held to the case with both screws and adhesive. If any of these components were damaged, removing and replacing them wouldn't be difficult. But I don't want to risk damaging them during the removal, so I'm going to leave them in place. Looking at the front panel assembly, there are also examples of how the iPhone 5 is easier to repair than its predecessors. First, the home button is attached to the panel with screws. Now, this makes it easy to replace a broken button. Same with the earpiece speaker. Lastly, the front panel and LCD are fused together. Now, in the past, I've complained of this construction technique, as it means when one component breaks, you must replace both, making the fix a bit more expensive. But having spent way too much time trying to remove stray pieces of dust from between the front panel and LCD screen, I've changed my mind. Even without taking it apart, there's a lot to like about the new iPhone 5. A bigger screen, faster processor, LTE support, and a thinner, lighter design. The fact that it's also easier to crack open and repair is just icing on the cake. Now, for a complete list of specs, pricing, and real-world performance tests, check out Scott Stein's full CNET review. And to see more teardown photos and read my full hardware analysis, go to techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. I'm Bill Detweiler. Thanks for watching.